My name is Les Lai. That's my decolonized artist name. And my colonized Catholic Canadian name is Leslie Robert Sam. My decolonized artist name, it symbolizes taking this name that's been imposed on me through colonialism and transforming it into a way that's more meaningful to my identity as a contemporary Coast Salish or First Nations person. When I'm creating work is that I always have music playing all the time through speakers or even like through uh, headphones. I've had a real habit of when I'm in public spaces of just using headphones and just like listening to music and then it just creates all these like images in my head. I see inspiration whether it's in nature like what we were when we we're down near the Salish Sea looking at the natural rhythm of nature and water and then also, you know, when I, we walk into like urban environments, you look at the Starbucks logo and you look at the McDonald's Golden Arches. I see it as an act of mediation, a mediation between Coast Salish culture and North American culture. For me, I utilize the uh, traditional Coast Salish design elements of uh, circles, ovals, crescents, trigons, split U-forms and split wedges. And those design elements are really common in contemporary logos and contemporary North American visual culture. I rationalize and justify incorporating those influences from North American visual culture into my work just to reflect my cultural reality. I try to um, defy the, st the stereotype of a contemporary Coast Salish artist that paints, that carves, that does jewelry and limited edition serigraph prints. The hat that I'm wearing right now, like when, as I turn my head, you can see like the black on black of the design. It was more just as an experiment. Like it's you know, like easy to say, okay, well, I'm gonna paint a drum or a canvas. So when you're dealing with something that's like three dimensional and it was just challenging in the sense that, okay, well, it's, the medium is like, it moves around and is curved and whatever. So it's like a bit more of a challenge to work on in that sense. More recently, I've wanted to expand my career to include guest lectures, teaching, curating, and writing to challenge people's stereotypes of what constitutes a contemporary Coast Salish artist. If I take tradition from our culture, stories, legends, language, visual images, and then sell that, it could be viewed as selling out and selling the culture. One of the reasons why this exhibition appeals to me is that I don't want to create work that's strictly just for a commercial market and that I'll you know, sell with a commercial context. I'll say things which aren't necessarily the most popular things to say, but you know, I'll just say it and then hope that there'll be people out there that'll be interested in that. And that's how I began as an artist and that's where that's led me to where I'm at today.